A 40 liter electrical radiator containing heat oil is placed in a 55 cubic meter room. Both the room and the oil in the radiator are initially at 10 degrees Celsius. The radiator with a rating of 1.8 kilowatts is now turned on. At the same time, heat is lost from the room at an average rate of 0.35 kilojoules per second. After some time, the average temperature is measured to be 20 degrees Celsius for the air in the room and 50 degrees Celsius for the oil in the radiator, taking the density and specific heat of the oil to be 950 kilograms per cubic meter and 2.2 kilojoules per kilogram degree Celsius. How long was the radiator on for? Assume an atmospheric pressure of 100 kilopascals. This is the third example for the specific heat's main lecture video. The links to that 12-minute video, the other examples for this topic, and the other lectures of the thermodynamics course are found in the description below. Once again, we begin with our conservation of energy equation. We see that the work is coming into the system, so there's no work out. We are being told that the heat is leaving the system, so there is no heat coming in. And since these are energy rates, we can multiply by time to find the total energy change due to heat and work. This is equal to the total change in internal energy for both the air and the oil. The change in internal energy is equal to the mass times the specific heat times the change in temperature. For the oil, we are already being given the specific heat, and since it's a liquid, it's fine that we weren't specified what type of specific heat it is. For the air, we want the specific heat at constant volume CV. We look it up from our tables and find that the average between 10 and 20 degrees Celsius, or the average between 283 and 293 Kelvin, would be between 0.716 and 0.718, but much closer to 0.718. We could interpolate, but in this case it's not going to make much of a difference. The mass of the oil is the volume of the oil times the density. The mass of the air we can find using the ideal gas equation. If PV equals MRT, then M equal to PV over RT. We look up the gas constant for air and substitute the value to find the mass of air. The change in temperature for the oil will be 50 minus 10, and the change in temperature for the air will be 20 minus 10. We substitute the rest of the values, we solve for the time, and we find that T is equal to roughly 44 minutes. And done! If you want to see some other examples in the specific heats and heat capacity topic, make sure to check out the links in the description below. You'll find the other lectures of the Thermo course as well as other engineering courses. Thanks for watching.